What is up YouTube? It is the Bill Outdoors here. Today is August 22nd of 2023. I am back in New Jersey once again. In my last video you saw me doing a little bit of saltwater fishing, mostly targeting some micro species because I miss the bluefish and the flounder. But here we are on the freshwater side and today we are going to be trying our hand at bowfin once again. Bowfin are a Kind of a prehistoric looking species of fish been around for a long time particularly we are targeting the eye tail bowfin recently the bowfin got split into two different species and the one you can find around here is the eye tail bowfin the other one is i believe it's called the ruddy bowfin and that's more south as far as i know um, but we got the the 6.6 st croix triumph medium heavy and that's the same as this rod over here that i already have casted out on this rod, I have a Pen Fierce 2 4,000 size reel. On that one, I have a Pen Battle 3 3,000. That one has 17 pound line. Fish, I think, just surfaced over there. And this one has 12 pound line. So I got a little circle hook, piece of cut bait, about an 8 to 12 inch leader that I just cut from my main line. A little barrel swivel right here, and then we have a little egg sinker. There's pretty much not much current flow here so we don't have to worry about going too heavy on the weight we just need something to stick on the bottom um well, last time i was here dealt with a lot of snapping turtles trying to steal my bait so good chance we'll we'll run into another couple of those today but we'll see what the day brings Hopefully I can get my hands on my first ever bowfin. That would be a new species for me, but we're just looking to catch something today so we don't get skunked. Let's set that rod down there. And now we wait. Bait and wait. That's how we gotta do it. You can catch them on artificial, but seems to be the way to go around here is, is cut bait. So that's what I'm doing. We may toss around some artificial later if this isn't working out. There's a couple different spots around here I could hit, but I want to try this point first since the intersection of two different waterways. It might have more fish passing through it. So we got our baits in the water. We got our little, little lawn chair right here. We're all set and ready to go. More prepared than last time. So hopefully we can find some fish. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Sit back, stay tuned, and hopefully we can get a bite. We will see. All right guys, so far it's been about a half hour and nothing much stirring yet. The bait that I caught for this are green sunfish that I caught from the canal by my house almost a week ago at this point. So the freshness of the bait may have something to do with it, but um, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to give it a little bit longer and then I might toss some artificial around with one of the rods and leave the cup bait in on the other. See if that provokes any action. Last time I tossed around artificial, I didn't get any bites on it, but we will see. We got a lot of time and a lot of bait. I'll probably try and fish until like three or so depending on how things go. Well, it is now probably close to 8.45. I just reeled up for the first time and found both my baits gone off the hook. So I'm gonna rebait and get out there, probably throw some artificial on the other one. If that doesn't work, then I'll just go back to cut bait. So let's get after it. Ah, <sighs> guys, well, it's not a fish. We somehow caught a turtle and thankfully it just fell off the hook. It was not a snapping turtle like we've dealt with before. Looked like it was some kind of painted turtle or red eared slider. But that was our first somewhat action of the day. Time to get a new piece of bait out there and keep fishing. Still waiting on Mr. Bowfin. If you remember my video from like back in June, early July said I was going to come back in the spring because that's when the bowfin spawn 
they're easier to target because they gather together now they're more spread out you can still catch them but slightly more difficult but I'm giving it one more shot because both in a really cool I want to catch one well guys just something just chomped my fish there looks like it could have been a snapping turtle bite but if it wasn't a snapping turtle bite it was a bowfin ah guys big old snapping turtle on the line hate these things it's got the bait right in his mouth deep in there Thank you. Did he take the hook? Yes, he did. The hook and the leader. Gone. Guys, boofing on. Boofing on. Yes! Look at that! Look at that beauty! Oh my gosh. That is a solid fish right there. His mouth is jacked up. He's been caught a couple times before. But that is the bowfin right there. That is what we were after. Whew. Let's get the hook out of his mouth. That's so sick. There it is. That is the bowfin. Let's take a shot of this guy and then let's let him go. That is so cool. That is awesome. All right, I'm gonna take a quick shot of this guy and then we're gonna let him go. All right, guys. Last look at our boat in there. Beautiful fish. Got a little red on the tail there. Gorgeous. Let's go ahead and send him off. I don't have a great spot to release, so I'm just gonna... A nice little push into the water there, and he'll be good to go. That is so cool. Came from right over there. Got him on the cup bait. Good stuff. All right, guys. Adrenaline was rushing a little, little much there, but I successfully caught my first ever eye tail bowfin species 144 for me so that is really cool even if we don't get a shot at another one i'll be very happy with the results today because those fish are just so cool they're so like prehistoric looking basically like gar without the the long snout so super happy with that if we can get a shot at another one obviously i'll, I'll more than take that but very cool that is the kind of redemption we needed after that snapping turtle. Well guys, I just had number two on, but he came off. I thought it may have been a turtle because the line went like slack and it wasn't really doing anything. And I started reeling, started reeling a little bit more. I just didn't reel down hard on him enough to get the circle hook to stick, but definitely not moving spots now i'm gonna stay here the whole entire time because there is fish here and if there's one thing i've learned and as the saying goes you don't leave fish to find fish yeah there's a chance things could work out much better but there's also a chance things could work out a whole lot worse so i'm gonna stick here and ride it out and Hopefully I'll get rewarded again for it, but I just missed another one. And the trick is to just try and cast in different places. If you're not getting a bite in one spot, like I was casting out towards the middle of that main channel there, and then I was casting over here towards some of those lily pads, and I was casting out towards that log right in on the other side there. And then I started casting along this side of the creek here, where it's a little, bit more i guess you would call it thin um just on the edge right where it connects to like the main creek over there and that's the second bite i've gotten from that spot my leader's still good 
So, time to put another bait in right over there. Well guys, I think I just missed another one. Same thing happened last time, line went slack and I tried to reel down on it as hard as I could, but I guess the hook just wasn't good enough. I need probably bigger circle hooks than that to get the job done. So we'll have to keep that in mind for next time. Well, the bait's still getting chewed at after about a half hour of a hot bite. But that looks more like turtles. How it's more just tearing the skin and all the internal matter out of it instead of just crunching down on it. Definitely seems more turtle-esque. There's some bait fish down there. I'm not sure what those are. They're darker. Maybe some leftover snakehead fry. Bowfin don't spawn this time of year. Alright guys, the fishing has slowed down a lot. Haven't had too much action. I have seen a number of mosquito fish around the shallows here, so a bit later on I may try and attach a Tanago to one of these rods and try and get a mosquito fish on the board because there's a chance those could be western mosquito fish. But to do that, I would have to go back to my car and get a photo tank. That way I can get clear shots of the dorsal fin to determine whether it's what I think it is or not. Because the western mosquito fish have less dorsal fin rays than their counterpart eastern mosquito fish as far as I know. So I might do that later on. Guys, look at that. There's like an otter or something right there. That does not look like a muskrat. That looks like a literal river otter. There's two of them. Well, that was crazy. I don't know if we have otters around here. Their faces look not beaverish, not muskratish, but look like literal otters. Hopefully the GoPro picked that up. It literally just popped up out of the water. And another one popped up right behind it. I'm gonna have to research that and see if there's otters around here because that's what it looked like. All right guys, we got our mosquito fish here. We're going in the photo tank. And now we're gonna take shots of the dorsal fins to confirm whether this is a Western or Eastern mosquito fish. Got them on a little piece of pill bug because I couldn't find any worms. All right, I just netted some of those mosquito fish. Took a bunch of shots of them. So hopefully I have something definitive That'll be able to tell me whether these mosquito fish are eastern or western mosquito fish, which will then determine whether the one that I caught was eastern or western mosquito fish. The reason I netted the school here is just in case the pictures of the sample I caught didn't turn out well. I could at least identify these guys by netting a, a handful of them. And then I can assume that the species I caught was also the same as these guys since they were in the same school. That's how I'm going to go, go about this. Um, I have, let's see what time it is. It is just about one o'clock right now. So I think I'm going to go back to the bowfin spot, grab the other rod out of the car, give it another hour and a half, and then we'll probably get out of here. Well, something tore that bait apart. Probably looking turtleish. Like I said, the way it's tearing off some of the flesh there. Bowfin don't really have the 
Um, I wouldn't say they don't have the capabilities to, but they're not really gonna tear giant chunks of flesh off like that. They don't have teeth like that. They do have teeth, but they're not that crazy. Those bites look more like the beak of a turtle. So we'll see if we can get another bite from a boat fin. We'll probably give it another hour or so, maybe a little less. The sun is way high in the sky right now and it's not looking good as far as the bowfin goes but we got our one today we may also have a new species with the mosquito fish we caught if that is determined to be a western mosquito fish but that is still up in the air at the moment so let me get another bait out there sit for a little longer and see what we can do. All right guys, it seems that the action has slowed down to the point of no return. So I'm probably gonna have to call it here for the day. It's around two o'clock. We started at about 7.45, so decent bit of fishing today. Took that little bit of a break to try and get that, um, there might be a turtle on here right now, to be honest with you. That may not be a turtle. That could be another bowfin. Oh. Nope, it's a giant snapping turtle. Oh, I was really hoping the way that was swimming that was gonna be a bowfin in the outro. I guess it heard me packing things up and decided it was finally time to come out and play, but Nope, just a speedy little snapping turtle. Oh, thank goodness he spit the hook. All right, so yeah, that is definitely a sign that we are all out of luck today. Well, it was lucky that the hook came out of that and didn't snap, but our bowfin are gone. So yeah, we're definitely gonna pack it in now. No more snappers, no more snappers. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We completed our goal of catching our eye tail bowfin. And we added in that mystery mosquito fish, which hopefully confirms to be a Western mosquito fish by the time this video gets posted. And that would be species 145 for us. But until that is, we are at 144 species with that bowfin. So I'm happy with the results of today, even though we missed the other two, possibly the other two, definitely the other one, um, bowfin that we missed on the cut bait. All I was using was little pieces of cut green sunfish, that little circle hook there, about eight to 10 inches a liter, barrel swivel and a little egg sinker. You don't need much to keep it on the bottom. There's not much current here, so. Yeah, once again, medium heavy St. Croix Triumph 6.6 six rod and the Penn Battle 3 3000 reel on there. And I have 17 pound monofilament on there, or fluorocarbon, I should say. And that's what we caught the bowfin on. So, yeah, decent day of fishing. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I know there wasn't much action, but we at least saw some cool stuff like the otters and I wouldn't say the snapping turtles are cool, but for some people it might be cool. Not for me, I'm rather annoyed with them. So yeah, beautiful day out. So let's go enjoy the rest of the day. Sit through an hour of traffic on my way home. And I will see you guys next episode on the Ville Outdoors. Hopefully we can get at least one more fishing session in before I am back to school because that is exactly one week away. And I don't know how much schoolwork I'll have, so I'm not going to guarantee a whole bunch of crazy trips fishing during the school year, but we shall see. All right, peace out.